Mark Rothko's Seagram Murals. This series of seven paintings is displayed in a single room, surrounding the viewer with Rothko's art. Their rectangular shape is reminiscent of windows or doorways. At times, you may feel them pressing in on you, and at others, inviting you further in. The lighting is subdued in the gallery, and the space is enveloped in deep red. Creating a room filled entirely with his own works, this was one of Rothko's desires during his lifetime. Mark Rothko was born in 1903 in the Russian Empire, which is now Latvia. Born into a Jewish family, he was the youngest of four siblings. At the age of 10, Rothko emigrated with family to the United States. His father's death from illness soon after meant that Rothko spent his youth in poverty. He worked odd jobs, such as a newspaper delivery boy, to support himself while studying at the prestigious Yale University. However, finding that life at Yale didn't suit him, he dropped out in his second year, soon finding himself on the path to becoming a painter. As an artist, Rothko found himself drawn to the creative themes of basic human emotions. Exploring ways to express this, he ultimately arrived at an abstract style of painting constructed purely of fields of color. In 1958, Rothko undertook a commission to paint a series of murals to decorate an exclusive restaurant planned for Manhattan's new Seagram building. Despite painting over 30 canvases for this commission, the finished pieces were destined never to grace the walls of the restaurant. Rothko himself decided to break the contract. I'm interested only in expressing basic human emotions, tragedy, ecstasy, doom, and so on. The paintings exhibited here are some of those Roth co-created for the restaurant. His family communicated to the museum the artist's wish to have them grouped together in a dedicated room, rather than being displayed individually. The museum is home to one of only four such Rothko rooms in the world. <laughs> 